Science can tell us something about mortality rates, or it can tell us something about morbidity rates. But as we, once we figure out how we value those mortality rates and those morbidity rates, can we implement a policy? One thing that I always notice and that I find worrying in that respect is when the focus is only and ever on perinatal mortality, and much of the focus um, in a debate uh, these two days have been about that. And we can fight over and over about whether there is a 0.1 increase or an 0.4 increase or no increase or even a reduction in perinatal, perinatal mortality rates in home births. But what is very rarely mentioned is the overwhelming evidence that home births are safer for mothers. Not a little bit safer, but massively so. Now, that tells us something about the values in our society, right? Those facts are there, but how we interpret those facts tells us something about how we value saving very occasionally one life of a child versus inflicting lots of harms on other people, namely the mothers of those children. It is one thing for mothers to routinely make that choice to put themselves at risk for their children, and that is always and ever an act of extreme altruism. But from a policy level, a society has a duty to value all its citizens and all its humans equally. And from that point of view, it is not at all obvious that we should always be so focused on perinatal mortality. So that's the interpretation point.